Hello world, Penny Lulu here, and I'm with Jason Lau, and we are in Austin, so I'm not on the road today, we're actually parked in, in a hospital waiting room, not that anything's wrong, everything's okay guys, right, right. <laughs> it was just a good spot to find us a quiet spot so that we could talk and all, uh, but wanted to talk to him about his new film that he's fixing to do mm -hmm. in uh, December this next month it's yes. coming up quick mm -hmm. and so uh, he's shooting it here in Austin and so tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about Lucy uh, yes well my name is Jason yes. uh, Liao and I'm a writer director here in Austin and uh, I'm my next project is called Lucy it is about a young girl kind of wandering around the streets of Austin kind of finding her way throughout the world it's um, it's kind of like Slacker meets uh, meets Alice in Wonderland, so it's kind of um, a journey through Austin, but it's also surrealistic and kind of weird and crazy. You got the Cheshire so, Cat happening in there somewhere? Uh, we might have it. We might <laughs> have a little thing in there. So, but uh, it's it's uh, it's kind of like how people uh, you you kind of go throughout life and you kind of um, have people who have their opinions and everything, and you and. And everybody's you, got one. Everybody's got an opinion, <laughs> and you, you kind of you go through, but you really have to form, make your own rules right? Uh, with life. So it's, it's like um, you really, it's about her learning that to make her own rules, and it's, uh, you know, she, she talks to all these people, and they all have this input on her, but she ultimately has to make her own mistakes and kind right. of uh, learn from the mistakes. So uh, it, it's going to be great. We're going to film in like five different locations around Austin. And we're going to finish up over on the pedestrian bridge right there in downtown Austin. It's going to have a nice uh, view, picturesque view of, of uh, Austin. And so mm -hmm. how many cast members do you have? Um, I, uh, so maybe 10 or 12 cast okay. members. Yeah, so each location has like one or two people who inhabit that location but it's all about it's all about environments and stepping into each store is like another world so you go in there and you you enter the environment and I, I pick stores that are um, very visually appealing as the, there's a lot going on visually and um, it should it should be really interesting so Okay. Yeah. And this is your third film that you've done in it. Yes. Short yes, films it is. and all. And mm -hmm. so, uh, and the way I met Jason was last year at the mm -hmm. Boomtown Film Festival that they have in Beaumont every year. And mm -hmm. we met there and um, yes, got to talking about his film. And yeah, so we met and it was, a, my first film was Megan's Journey. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that I had over at the Boomtown Film Festival last year. And I've, uh, I'm really proud of it. It's available on Amazon if awesome. y'all if y'all want to check it out. Uh, but it's called Megan's Journey with two G M E G G A N, okay. Journey, and then uh, it's pretty. It's pretty much about a girl who finds a baby in her closet, <laughs> and the baby turns out to be basically a metaphor for her cancer. So she hates it it's an intruder in her life but she can't get rid of it it's something that she can never escape uh, she tries to kill it and it comes back and I don't know ultimately she accepts it in her life but uh, it's a little dark uh, but I wrote it because my mom had passed away from cancer and I just wanted to it just it felt like something I had to get out so it was kind of a way it was therapy for you just kind of working through things. yeah for sure for sure and so so, uh, mm -hmm. so did it work yeah it i I'm, I'm happy that I got it out and yeah I, I I thought it's it just it was very it at least you know I put it out there so i'm I'm happy that it's out there you know I'm proud of it and so you at this time do short films they're all short films you haven't done right. a, a feature <clears throat> and a feature can be anything that's like 40 minutes or more, I think, or 50 minutes right. or more is considered. There's, there's a line there, yeah. Like yeah, and, and it depends. Is. Different film festivals have different lengths that they consider a feature right. film. But once mm -hmm. you get to about the hour mark, they, it's a feature. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, 
the I, I've been writing some scenes out of my feature film script, and uh, the feature film is is it's going to be a period piece called Spindle Top. So it's uh, basically the about the birth of the oil and petro petroleum industry in Texas. So it's a period piece. It's basically the the opportunity, the the oil the oil boom. The, the oil find over in Spindletop created a great opportunity for everybody in the region. And so a lot of people came in and it led to a lot of innovations uh, in the world, really. It started the petroleum age, it's where we get our phones, where we have all the plastics that we have. Hi. Pretty much everything that we have today is just, it's derived from uh, petroleum. They're all petroleum based products. So uh, it's really the film is going to be honoring that legacy, the the legacy of uh, petroleum business and the people that were crazy enough to think that there was oil in Beaumont. And they really were considered Hey, it's crazy. us crazy ones that changed the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they really, really, really were... Uh, the, the experts at the time said, right. you're, cra you're absolutely crazy. Several times, not just not just one time. It was several times that they got uh, told that they were they're insane to think that there was oil in Beaumont. But <laughs> so, I guess they proved them wrong. So. They proved them wrong mm -hmm. and changed the world. Yes, they did. Yep. <laughs> so, well, cool. So, what? When do you think you might be uh, doing that one? Do you have like a timeline yet, or is that still? Far enough out in the future that uh, it's it's gonna. I'm gonna start doing more research, doing uh, picking picking out some more anecdotes and putting together the script a little bit more next year, and hopefully I'll have something that I can start in production probably next year, end of next year, something like that. So it, these things take time, and you really want to make sure the script is great, and then you take that script and then you. Uh, attach people, you get money, you put together a movie. That's pretty much what That's you do. It. Well, and you're still doing a little bit of crowdfunding even for Lucy right now. Oh, yeah, yes. And I forgot to mention that uh, Lucy, it is a short film, and we are going to be the, the one about the girl, the Alice in Wonderland right. one. It's, uh, we're going to shoot in Austin, and we're going to shoot uh, next month, December 17th and 18th. And then we're, uh, but we're crowdfunding right now. So it's on Kickstarter right now until uh, just after Thanksgiving. Okay. So uh, we still need a thousand dollars, and okay. you can put in any um, amount that you want, uh, twenty dollars, whatever. But uh, the more you put in, the more perks that you get. Yeah, because I think get. there's one even there where you get like a producer perk, you know, producer yes, you credits can, and yes, such. You can, be, you can be a producer, you can take a look at the movie before it's out, uh, you can be invited to the film festivals to see it and everything, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that are they're available. So just come donate, and if they want to donate a, a, a large amount, it is a tax-deductible donation because we set it up through a 501c3, which is a, non oh, okay. it's a non-profit organization, so they can get back 10 to 30 percent back of what they what they donated and that's on the 2017 taxes and it's uh it'll go basically your you know you'll reduce your income you know reduce your what you pay in taxes so if somebody <clears throat> did want to donate to the kickstarter fund mm -hmm, how do they mm -hmm. find that okay you go to kickstarter.com okay. and it is you just type in lucy maybe lucy short film that might also come up okay. but it's going to have a picture of uh, of the uh it's going to say lucy in blue with like little marbles all over and it's going to have a girl's silhouette but it's all like black and white uh, okay. black and white but the, the the letter lucy says is in blue oh okay so and then you'll see a video of me too and then asking for money. So. <laughs> Saying, please don't pay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in half of my money, but I'm also kind of want, want other people to kind of get involved too, right. to, to help fill the piece. Because it's like, and the ultimate, 
at the end of the day, I'm not getting the money. It's like I'm giving, you know, I'm not giving, but everybody's working. Everybody's doing a job, but there's a lot of people doing that's the job. That's it. I mean, honey, just to feed them. I mean, you gotta, just to you gotta, feed. that's, that's one of the biggest things they said <clears throat> on a panel of co uh, mm -hmm. a while back is feed your people. You know, yes, even yeah. if it's a free film and they're doing it for free, acting and all of that, feed your people. So a good chunk of it just goes to and <laughs> you know, there's probably fifteen crew members, probably twelve cast members. So yeah. there's a lot of people there. Yeah. Locations. Yeah, sometimes you have to the, pay for the locations. For loca you know, yeah, there's a lot of and props and makeup and wardrobe and there's there's a lot of things that go into making a movie. So. Oh, well, good luck with that. Congratulations. And, <laughs> and thank you for the tickets to uh, The Man Who Invented Christmas yes. last night. That I was, was really cool. I was able, I, sometimes I come across uh, the pre screenings, and if I can't make it, I'll you know, let y'all have it. So. Well, that yeah. was cool. And uh, there is a video discussion slash. Uh, oh. Help me. <laughs> I can't think of a word. Video right discussion. Now. Yeah, it was a review. We, we kind of reviewed it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did give it thumbs up, you know, but it okay. really is. I think yeah. it's going to be a new Christmas classic. I really think it'll fall in oh, line with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I, yeah, I want to see yeah, it. Yeah, but I, I think it will because it was the story of how uh, Dickens wrote A Christmas Carol, but you really got the essence of A Christmas Carol, too, because the, the characters came alive. In the movie and all, and it was really interesting. Right. So check out mine and Sylvia's discussion on it, uh, because there was some real insight <clears throat> into it to what a writer's life is like. Mm, I, I like those. I like those. Yeah, it, it really was good. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you, and mm -hmm. y'all catch us next time because I'm going to be on the road. Where do you want to see me go? Let us know, and we'll see if we can't make it happen. Bye, guys. All right.